Good day Capricorn and welcome to my channel. I'm Misha the Psychotic Psychedelic Gypsy and this is your weekly reading for August 14th to the 20th. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well and I hope this reading resonates with you. I also want to apologize because these cards are late again and I'm very upset with myself over it. <clears throat> I apologize. I've just been working a lot trying to get some money up for some other things that I want to do. And uh, I've also, you know, I got I got my ADHD and all that good stuff that really hinders things. But I'm going to try to, I'm really trying to change that and get these things out on time for you. So anyway, let's go ahead and see what we got this week. Universe Speak. Spirit's Guide. What Needs to Be Known. What lessons need to be learned? Oh. Well, I don't really do that, so. Seven of Clubs. King of Hearts. Four of Diamonds, and the Ace of Clubs, okay, so here is the dealio, your energy this week is action, and change into a new life, uh, you might have an idea or a love interest, and the cards say that it's a go on either one, uh, your idea or your love interest, so if there's an action you need to take upon those two things, you know, either one or both, uh, now is the time to do it this week. Uh, and it might take you all week to do it, but uh, in the end, you should really do it because it's going to lead you to uh, change in your life, something new, uh, something successful. So definitely, um, yeah, go for whatever it is you're dreaming of going for. Do it because it's, it's all green lit. Uh, in the beginning of the week, uh, there are some snakes in the grass, and they might try to confuse you in love, or they might try to sabotage you at work, uh, but either way, right now is not a good uh, good time to listen to groups of people uh, gossip or, or even the rumors that they may be making about you. You need to let it go in one ear and out the other. And uh, be careful because somebody might try to lead you into sabotaging yourself at work or, you know, causing confusion with your lover. And um, you just need to keep one eye open and realize that there are some snakes in the grass that are going to try to whisper some, some untruths into the world and you need to not listen. Um, you need to keep your faith in your love and you need to keep your faith in your work, you know. Know that your lover loves you. Know that, that there's not as much wrong in your relationship as these people may be trying to claim uh know that you are good at work know that you do your job well uh because these snakes in the grass are going to try to make you think that you don't uh they could even possibly you know cause trouble with your boss or whatnot and you need to just keep your head up and uh not let it uh you know get get into your head because once it gets into your head that's when failure failure will come you know, uh, in the middle of the week, uh, you're going to be accompanied by or approached by a kind-hearted friend or lover. Uh, this person is very honest, and you should uh, you should take all their words to heart. Uh, that would be right now. Um, the snakes in the grass would have started at the beginning of the week, uh, and this is here in the middle of the week, as of right now, the present. Um, so. If somebody approaches you or you're accompanied by somebody in the middle of the week right now, um, this person is honest. They're going to tell you the honest God truth about things. And they might know some things about these snakes in the grass. Uh, and they might also help you understand that you need to go after these ideals, uh, this idea or this, uh, this love interest that you have going on. And uh, as it goes for the love interest, these people could be, conf <coughs> could be confusing you uh, and somebody that you're not even in, that you're not even with yet, uh, trying to stop you from getting with that person. They might be very jealous of you uh, about even having the chance. They might know something about this person that you don't know. They, this person might be going around talking about you, good stuff, 
and uh, these snakes in the grass are going to try to stop that uh, or uh, they know something about your job or work or something um, maybe you're up for some kind of promotion and they've heard about it through the grapevine and now they're trying to stop that so uh, this kind-hearted friend or lover could have information to tell you um, that is very vital and I would say that uh, when they tell you uh, is definitely take action take action um, I mean the sooner you take action the better it's going to be for you uh, so take action on the things that you want and desire at the end of the week um, the cards are screaming to you to save money uh, so I mean if you get paid you know at the end of this week I would definitely save your money I would not spend it on uh, frivolous things that you don't need uh, fast food uh, whatever whatever it is that you spend your money on everybody's got their thing that they spend money on and some people have those things that they spend money on that they way overdo it so if you're that person definitely at this time save that money um because you're most likely going to really need that money uh coming up soon possibly in the next week uh to come so do not be just blowing your money at the end of the week here uh so yeah let's see what the tarot cards have to say uh, about all this universe speak spirits guide what needs to be known what lessons need to be learned Ah, the hermit. Yeah, see, the hermit, the hermit's wise, you know, but he, he isolates in a cave, you know, instead of coming out. And uh, like the action card here, you need to light your lantern and come out of the cave and take action on the things that you need in life. Uh, you have all the wisdom that you need to take these actions, but you're kind of isolating and not, you know, coming out and, you know, showing yourself and making yourself present. And you really need, need to do that at this time and take that action, you know. So uh, if you're being a hermit, don't be a hermit. You need to come out of that cave for a little bit. Uh, light that lantern. Shine. Shine right now. Shine right now with all the wisdom that you've learned while staying in that cave and take action on what you want in life. Um, there you go. I hope this resonated. If it did, hit that like button. And if you would, please comment, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you back here next week. And until then, stay safe, stay mindful, stay healthy.